This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Right now, schools under Michigan are under historic pressure. They do not know how much funding they will have per student come fall, and there's no timeline for when they will have that information. On Tuesday, they will learn that what the state guidelines on Tuesday, they'll learn what the state guidelines for schools will be from Governor Gretchen Whitmer's Return to Learn Advisory Council. The press conference is scheduled for 3 p.m. The council has formulated a plan for how to open while protecting students and staff as much as possible from COVID-19. I fear that some school districts across the state just won't be able to open in the fall, said Mark Greathead, superintendent of Woodhaven Brownstone Schools and Tri-County Alliance for Public Education president. Schools are expecting to have to spend millions to help children social distance and sanitize while facing potential budget cuts as states experience a loss in tax revenue due to the stay-at-home orders. The governor said that she's calling on Congress and President Donald Trump to pass a bill that helps schools deal with the costs of COVID-19. On Monday, Governor Gretchen Whitmer and GOP leaders reached a bipartisan budget agreement for fiscal year 2020. The agreement includes adjustments to the 2020 budget, as well as allocation of coronavirus relief fund dollars. It also includes what's described as modest reductions to the current year funding, while also providing CARES Act funding for Michigan schools and local governments, which have been hit hard by the pandemic. COVID-19 has had an unprecedented impact on the state budget. In this time of crisis, it's our responsibility to come together and build a budget that reflects a bipartisan commitment to the things we value most as Michiganders, Whitmer said. This agreement provides crucial funding for Michigan families, schools, and communities grappling with costs incurred as a result of our virus. Our collective priority is a healthy state and a healthy economy. We're committed to working together to address the remaining shortfalls in the next year's budget, and we are looking to our partners in Congress for support to help maintain the essential services relied upon by our families and small businesses. The Portland Area Chamber of Commerce has officially canceled their July 3rd fireworks display. This, despite recently being approved for a permit by Portland's City Council, the Chamber of Commerce has now canceled the display scheduled for Friday. The city planned to hold a celebration on the 60-acre Bogey Flats recreational area with heavy police presence and more than 30 volunteers for crowd control. However, the chamber decided to cancel after getting advice from Ionia County Prosecutor. Not all residents of Portland are upset over the cancellation. Cindy Sunday believes it was too early to have an event of that size during the pandemic. Although it was the chamber's call to cancel, they are disappointed that they had to make the decision. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives, and many people don't know where to turn for help. And that's why Fox 47 News WSYM-TV created Rebound Mid-Michigan, everything you need to get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can lend to others in your own community. Rebound Mid-Michigan, everything you need to help get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. For all of our local high school seniors, we know that their senior year has been different than usual, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't celebrate their accomplishments. That's why Fox 47 News created the Senior Spotlight. It's a way for anyone to share a video shout out or to upload a photo of a special graduate that deserves recognition. So go to fox47news.com forward slash grad to upload your video or photo today to let mid-Michigan graduates know how important they are and how bright their future truly is. Learn more about all of these